we've been cooking up a storm here in Chef Naledi's kitchen with our children-friendly cook-along. We started it off with some delicious tuna cakes, followed it up with some amazing butternut fritters. And now she's just taken out those beautiful golden brown goujons. Those look absolutely amazing, Thank Chef. you, Dumi. I cannot Thank wait you. to sink my teeth into that. And I know the kiddies are just as excited as I am. But we're about to make a recipe that started off with you mentioning something about you not necessarily liking juice is there a reason for that um look for me fruit juices are generally really too sweet mm -hmm. um for my kids um but should you really really want to give them juice i say go 50 50 so dilute them with water don't just give them that juice just like that so yeah it sort of reduces the amount of sugar they're taking True, and I guess that's where this recipe that we're about to make comes in because yes. now you actually control the amount of sugar, sugar that, you that goes, add. yes, the sweetness that goes into it. I mean, we're talking sugar, but you could use an alternative. You could use sugar, honey, which is what we're using today. And yes. we are making iced tea South Africa. If you haven't already guessed it, we've got beautiful ingredients out here. While you're finishing up, I'm just going to tell the people what we've got out here. Great. We've got some peaches. We've got some berries, which are also in season. We've got blueberries. We've got strawberries. And... Obviously, to tie it all down, we've got some mint for that fresh flavor. Um, so what would you like me to start doing on my side? Okay, please put in the tea bags and so, then add the water. All right. For this recipe, we've gone for five tea bags of rooibos tea, right? Is there a reason why you're choosing rooibos? It's healthier. Okay. And if you use specific brands, they're also endorsed by the Heart and Stroke Foundation. Mm. So that's really, really good for the kids as well. Well, and adults. And I think this is the perfect time to add the honey, right? Just so it dissolves perfectly. Don't add too much, that's enough. Okay. <laughs> she did say South Africa that you're not and Zuki are not friends. And actually, my kids don't even add honey to it. Are you so for real? we just have it like that. We drink tea like that. No sugar, no honey, nothing. Yep. I'm cutting up the strawberries. You can cut up the peaches there um, while the tea bags seep in. Um, this you can make and just refrigerate okay. so you can p do it like the day before um, and then you just put it into the kids school um, lunch boxes well that juice bottles and another thing just always remember to add a bottle of water every time a bottle of water water is extremely important water is life, it is life. And, you know chef Naledi, this is my first year actually living with my son alone just the two of us with no one else involved mm -hmm. and i am i'm not going to say struggling but i'm finding it a little, little difficult with getting recipes that work for him especially for lunch boxes you know mm -hmm. you want uh, stuff that is not too that doesn't make them too hyper the last mm -hmm. thing you want is for the teachers to complain and say we can't keep him still he just does not you know uh, sit still during class yeah so i love the fact that this can be added into a scuff tin yes. and you regulate the amount of sugar and we've already mentioned about how our kids like the freshness so mm -hmm. yours don't like the sugar mine likes the cucumber so I could even add cucumber right into this you can you definitely can and the nice part about it is that they actually eat the fruit from that <laughs> as well <laughs> very very so true. it's really good that they also add, eat the fruit from that um, there we go and remember um, fruits also have sugar natural yes. sugar in it so you don't necessarily have to add sugar I always say our children actually learn from a very young age acquired taste so if you teach your child sweet things from a very young age they're obviously going to have an extremely sweet tooth very very yeah. true you might be wondering why we've already put the fruits into this warm mixture and not adding the ice beforehand chef do you want to tell the people why well, the hot water actually extracts the flavor from the juices, so it gets infused into the iced tea. Making it even more flavorful and pungent with that flavor that we want there. Yes. Sweet 16. Yes. I'm not going to say much. <laughs> Tell us about Sweet 16. <laughs> oh, to me. <laughs> so I met my husband 16 years ago. That's why the Sweet 16. <laughs> so yes, I met him 16 years ago, but wow. we've been married for 11 years now. Wow. I mean, that's hard to come by I mean with this day and age that's things, true things don't last batteries don't last relationships don't last and here you are 16 years in 11 years in marriage how <laughs> there's no recipe <laughs> that's the one that's thing the <laughs> So Chef, we're done with the cook-along. How's about we go do an eat-along with Ooh. the little ones? <laughs> Let's go join the kids. 